Hey guys, it's Meg. I am here this week with a new video for you. This is going to be our standard tarot reading for the week, so if you want to see more, uh, come on in, have a seat and get comfortable. Um, we'll get started in a moment. Um, I do want to say that if you like what you see in the video, please consider hitting the like, subscribe, and the bell buttons. You can stay in the loop for when I post new work. Um, I have also included a list of my social medias. Those are all linked. Um, I've included a list of the decks I'm using, so you can uh, get a close-up look at the decks if you want to. Um, and quick announcement before we get into it. Um, unfortunately, I will have to stop doing bonus readings for my tarot videos for a little bit. Um, because I'm having some technical difficulties with my webcam currently and I've switched to filming on my phone so you may notice a quality difference between my webcam and my phone um, and I'm personally leaning towards using my phone from here forward but that's going to mean that I may have to foreshorten my videos a little bit um, just because of how I'm having to take my clips off my phone and put them on my computer so we will figure it out um, but unfortunately there's not going to be a timestamp on this video so um, yeah hang in there with me we'll figure it out um, in the meantime of that though thank you for tuning in if you are here um, I appreciate you and this video is meant for you because you found it in your time and on your time so here we go let's get into a reading to see what we need to see for the energy and um, this reading is also given in gratitude and uh, yeah in a lot of gratitude for you being here thank you so much okay don't think I've said it just yet but um, I like to start with some oracle cards um, just to get an idea of what kind of energy we may have going around us right now and then we'll get into some tarot cards to help clarify that a little bit okay so let's whoa okay let's see what we got okay so right off the top we have sad embrace okay all right we have um, rose quartz and platinum which represents gentleness, tenderness, and cherishing. Okay. Alrighty, and we also have Audaz, and this represents resistance, fearlessness, and being justified. Okay. Well, there's been a tough, tough situation arising in your space. Um, and it's definitely put you, I feel like this has put you, whatever the situation is, it's put you a bit on the defensive, okay? Um, it's put you on the defensive to the point that you're kind of resisting any, any sort of interaction. doesn't mean um, that you're just resisting being confronted. Um, doesn't mean you're resisting being treated nicely, you're just resisting everything, okay? Um, and you're doing that because I, I feel like there's some of you, if you're, if you're resonating with this, some of you are trying to hide the fact that you're hurt, okay? Um, again, your resistance, you're trying to be fearless, um, and you're trying to be justified in saying, oh, no, yeah, it happened, you're, you're trying to play it off when deep down it's like this really hurts i don't know why i why this is happening right um yeah the, i think the trick to helping yourself through that is to allow yourself the chance to be gentle with yourself you don't have to be you don't have to be ashamed of being afraid of feeling hurt because whatever the situation is has really, really hurt you. Okay, um, you can't, um, you 
can't deny that you're in a place of pain. Okay. So let's get to, let's get into some tarot and see what we need to see. Um, how can we how can we help each other through whatever this this ouchy ouch spot is? Okay. We have the sun. Okay. We have the fool. Okay. And we have the nine of pentacles. Something, I think something in this sad situation has made it very clear to you that that particular situation is something to be let go. Okay, it's something that you've held on to and you finally come to the realization that it's like, oh crap, I gotta move on from this. I don't know how, I've been, I've been resisting moving on because this, this place that's causing me sadness, this thing that's causing me to hurt um, and putting my defenses up, that, that needs to be let go. Um, and it's finally become clear, okay? And it's finally, you've had the intuitive hit that it's like, yeah, this isn't gonna do me any good, I need to go, okay? Um, isn't gonna do me any good, I need to go, right? Um, going back to this pr playing it off feeling, um, the reason you're trying to do that is because you don't wanna let, it, let on that you really are afraid of what's coming next, okay? And I, I, I really don't mean to call anybody out, but it's, it's, it's there, that fear is there, okay? Um, the thing is, okay, the thing is, you have worked very hard. You've worked hard to build up your resources so you can do this. Whether you realize it or not, um, everything, everything you've been doing up to this point has has helped you to yeah it has helped you to uh, get your stuff in order so that you can under you you can realize when it's time to move on and know that you're moving on with all your decks stacked in your favor okay um, this is also a chance to do the thing from this card, you know, give yourself a chance to be tender and gentle with yourself and enjoy the things you've built so far, right? So there's the main portion of that. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have death on the bottom of deck. So yeah, things are definitely changing, but they're not being completely eliminated, okay? They're just changing forms. The energy is just changing forms. And um, you're being asked to go, go with this change, okay? All right, the card on the top of the deck is the Knight of Wands. So the beautiful aspect about this is that um, you're being, you're being prepared to be in a place where you can take action on what inspires you, on what drives your passion, um, on what gives you that jolt of energy to be like, yeah, I'm getting out of bed. I get to go do this, 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 and this. Like, yeah, I get to do that. That's what this change in your energy is preparing you for, okay? All right, so let's see. We're gonna clarify this a little bit. Um, not gonna do as deep a clarification as I normally do, again, because of um, constraints on filming. But we're going to see a card for each. Yeah, we're gonna see uh, a clarification card for each of the cards I've just pulled. So let's see what we need to see here that will clarify the fool. Okay, 
for clarifying the pool right now. Why are we seeing the fool? Why are we seeing the fool? Okay, we're seeing the we're seeing the fool because we have some nine of swords energy coming out here. So yeah, yeah, there's definitely some anxiety. Okay, this is being confirmed. No, it's not fun. I'll admit this really isn't fun. Um, but this is something for you to address. You're being encouraged to address this anxiety. Okay. Um, and that's that's not going to be an easy thing to do. In fact, here's the fool. I'm looking at the sun. I showed you the sun here. And actually, it works for both. I'm going to I'm going to use this to clarify both cards. Um you're finally seeing that you can't you can't ignore the things that are making you anxious, especially when it comes to letting them go. Okay. Um, so yeah, you're you're seeing where your anxiety points are are coming in. Okay. Now for the fool. Let's see why we're seeing the fool. Why are we seeing the fool? Okay, we're being called to figure out our sense of balance again. Okay, um, the new this road that you're going on is unknown, right? It's not um, it's not familiar to you yet. Okay, and things could be very rocky. Things could be very smooth. We just don't know. We don't know. Okay, and that lack of that lack of knowledge perceived lack of knowledge that uncertainty is really making us feel <laughs> I'm off balance I don't like it what do I do calm down for a minute and try and figure out um, what it's gonna take to regain your sense of balance okay um, your sense of balance your sense of being in flow um, there's certainly something um, that's asking you to moderate a little bit better maybe um, there's been some reactivity in your space that is um, that has come to pass and you're not sure what what to do uh, yeah you're not you're just not sure what to do with it right now okay here's what yeah work on regaining your sense of balance and things will start falling into place okay so let's see our nine of pentacles. Why are we seeing our nine of pentacles here? Let's clarify our nine of pentacles. Ooh, okay, we're getting two of pentacles. So more on um, more on the idea of balance, more on the idea of, of regaining that sense, okay? Um, and it, this is so perfect because of what we're talking about right now and this, this sense of, um, the sense of being off kilter, right? What you're looking to do right now is the hammer at home, regain the sense of balance so you can, so you can be clear headed when things start looking really turbulent, okay? Um, you have what you need. Believe me, you have what you need already. It's going to be a matter of figuring out what um, what you can do to, to manage it. I think that's good enough. Um, if you have if you have any other interpretations for these cards, I would love to see them in the comments. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, moving on to clarify our card for death. Why are we seeing? The, the card for death, please. Show me why. Okay. The Emperor. You need to believe in yourself that you have more authority over your situation than you're giving yourself credit for. Okay? Um, yeah, you, you have more authority over um, your situation, whether you believe it or not, okay? You're, you're being presented with things that are deliberately throwing you off, um, 
so you can assess if the things that you think matter to you really do matter. I hope I, I, hope I worded that correctly. Um, but the fact of the matter is that you, you have, you have authority, you have power, you have the means of navigating a new road. Changes happen, of course they do. Um, you're not, you're not as, you're not as unbalanced as you believe you are. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's see our Knight of Wands. Why are we seeing our Knight of Wands, please? Okay, Knight of Wands. Yeah, Knight of Wands is being clarified by the Two of Cups. So there's an opportunity. Once everything balances back out, once everything becomes more stable for you, then you'll start seeing, um, seeing where the lessons you've learned are coming in, okay? Because you have, again, you have more information about this change than you think you do, right? At the end of it all, you're picking up new things. You're picking up, yeah, you're picking up new information, new ideas, new processes, new perspectives. All of that can be integrated with what you already know, okay? And you're getting this opportunity right? You're getting this opportunity. Okay, so that is the Two of Cups clarifying our Knight of Wands. All right, let's see some clarifying energy. Actually, let's get our final message for this reading um, and we'll see if it clarifies any other questions you might have. So, here we go. Let's see what we need to see, please. What do we need to see? What do we need to see, please? Okay. All right. So, the first card that we're gonna look at here Actually, hold on here. We have, okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, we have the star. Ooh, I like we're getting the star. Okay, here's the star. Okay, and we're getting the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Okay, it's a nine of pentacles. I'm thinking we had a repeat card here, but that all, no, we're keeping that. Okay, so if we put in the work, we're gonna get the rewards, okay? If we put in the work, because we are being called to do that, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, this nine of pentacles is um, tending our fields, taking action on the things we say we're gonna do, right? Um, it's slow, right? And it's slow and for the reason that I think there's uh, some fear we're trying to play off. Um, that's that's part of the reason why we're not we're not having to, we know we've known we needed to take action, but we haven't done so because we're trying to be fearless and we're putting up barriers and resisting what we know we need to do. but but when we do get there, Okay, when we do start doing that work, it's going to yield rewards in the form of emotional well-being, in the form of deep peace, in the form of happiness. Okay, and we're working on getting ourselves there. Okay, but we need to realize that we do have a star to navigate by. Okay, um, because th this time feels, it feels murky, it feels weird. It's like I, I'm in the mire and I don't know where I am. All you have to do with that is look up. Okay, look up, you'll find your star. Look inward, you'll find your, you're gonna find your light. Okay, that'll, that'll help illuminate things where they need to be illuminated. Okay. There's that, let's see. 
Okay, let's see some hidden energy here. Okay, we have the Four of Cups and the Queen of Wands here. So there, there's, there's something you've attached yourself to that at first was very inspiring, very strong. It, the attachment to it was very strong to the point that you felt like this was the end all be all of your life. You could do nothing else, you will do nothing else, blah blah blah, but, but it didn't stay that way, right? Um, some aspect of your situation didn't stay the way you thought it would and that's, that's part of, um, that's part of the situation that you're in now where you're feeling off kilter. It's, it's, it's frustrating. It's frustrating because, um, you're not sure. Something became very disillusioning, okay? Um, in resisting, resisting the fact that you're feeling pain over that is causing you to hold back from the work you know you need to do. It's causing you to be uh, separate from this emotional well-being. It's causing you to forget your light. Okay. Um, and the opportunity to integrate new information could be missed if you don't put forward the effort and the work. Stop playing off like you're okay. Right? Um, there's that that disappointment, that disillusionment is really strong here. Um, but again, guys, hold on here. Hold on. You have the Empress coming out as the final uh, clarifying message here. There's a lot to be gained from going through this situation here, okay? There's abundance, there's creativity, there's, um, there's new life coming back into your situation, okay? Now here, here's why I got excited a little bit ago, because you also have the emperor. So you have, you have more authority in this situation than you give yourself credit for, okay? You don't, you, you just, you don't have to do what you're doing right now. It's a choice, and you know what, I say all of this, in full and complete acknowledgement that you might not be ready to do the work right now, okay? The, whatever wounded you has really seriously wounded you. I acknowledge it, I appreciate it. I'm sorry it happened to you if it is, if it is, you know, I'm sorry it happened to you. There's no ifs, ands, or buts in this. It happened to you, okay? Um, at some point, there will be a need to let it go if you can, forgive if you can, follow your heart and when you're ready you, you will do that if you ever get there, okay? Um, but know that there are rewards for getting into this work and reflecting and doing what you need to do to heal, okay? Good luck. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm going to call it quits for this video for now. Um, if you have any feedback for me, leave it in the comments. If you have any uh, interpretations of the cards you'd like to give and feel safe giving, comments are open. Um, everything's in the description and you know where all the buttons are. So if you like what you see in the video, let me know. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to call it quits, uh, but until the next one, my loves, I will see you later. Stay safe. Stay golden. I love you lots. Bye, everybody.